So I noticed recently some discoloration on this stucco here and I was getting um, water uh, on this pad here where this pool equipment is. So I first thought the pool equipment was leaking, but then I see this discoloration here and lo and behold, that drain pipe right there, well that drain pipe was leaking and you can still see some uh, drops of water coming out of there. So gonna do some investigation because that goes to the air handler for the air conditioner and that's where the uh, emergency overflow is for any condensation that builds up and doesn't go through the main drain pipe so I got a feeling the main drain pipe is plugged and gonna go ahead and uh, go through the process to clear that pipe what you can see here is this is a sink that's in the uh, downstairs of the building and this line here comes from a pipe that runs all the way up to the air handler up in the attic and then it patches into this drain pipe here and just goes down through the p-trap here underneath and into the uh, septic um, downstream um, what can happen is you can get crud in this line especially right in this section in here and you can get um, enough debris in there that this line will back up and then it won't drain through here and in a case where your air conditioner is running really hard and there's a lot of condensation uh, without the flow coming through here it'll go to your emergency overflow which is something you don't want to have happen so you got to make sure these lines are clean and uh, I'm going to show you how to make sure that that's clean when this p-trap is easy you just gotta loosen these couplings here this one has two one here and one here and then pull the p-trap down but remember um, first time you do this, it's going to be full of water. So this is going to just want to, you want to have to put a bucket underneath here to catch any water that falls out of this P-trap. And then in place of the P-trap, I attached the hose to my wet vac. And I just put some duct tape to make a seal. So now I've got this uh, wet vac taking all the drainage uh, from this drain. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that shop vac. So that all the pressure starts pulling through the drain line and then I'm going to run some very very hot water through here and I'm going to actually pour a little bit of vinegar to try to loosen up any crud that's in this line anywhere in the line and pull it down through into the shop vac. Uh, since this here is also connected to that drain I put some duct tape over the drain to get me full pressure uh, through this line here coming from my air handler and all I've got here is just a simple small shop vac electric that's going to be pulling uh, that vacuum down the line. One thing you'll notice in the P-trap here is this uh, orange tint. It's really not gunk. This is rust and this comes from the inside of the air handler. There's some components in there with tin that will rust and, and uh, you'll see this orange inside the air handler when we go upstairs in just a sec and I see it in the pipes. So this is an easy um, way to or to attract gunk and to get plugged up. So this is why you have to do this cleaning uh, every year or so. So here up in your attic where your air handler is, you see you've got two vent pipes coming out. Actually, um, one's covered. This is where there's a P-trap for water to uh, sit here and um, not cause any smell to backflow through the, type, the pipe. And this is a air release here. That's going to let um, the water flow down the drain line and not have a vacuum stop it up. So you get a vacuum uh, uh, air line always here. So there usually be a cap on this other other one that's directly above where the drain from the air handler comes out and goes into the drain pipe through the P-trap and out. So one thing you can do every year, you can come in here, put your funnel and uh, pour some hot water down in here, pour some vinegar, flush out that P-trap, flush out the lines, uh, and clean that out all the way through to the drain. Um, you can also uh, come in here and open up the air handler and spray some vinegar, some, some water to flush this part of the line out also, because this part will get sludge in it as well. And uh, you could have an issue where you're plugged up before you even get to your drain lines. And if you're plugged up, what's going to happen is you get your back backup line here that the opening where the water goes into this line is higher here than here. 
there's actually a little bit of a, a dam at the bottom half. So the water level inside the unit has to get a certain height before it'll ever use this. But if this side is blocked up, the primary, then it's going to use this and it's going to go out, usually outside of your house, to an open port that's above a window so that you could see water flowing down that shouldn't be and know that you've got a problem up here. This same line is uh, connected to your uh, emergency spillover tray here. So if, if uh, condensation built up so much inside the unit that none of these pipes drained it out and it fell down to the bottom, it would catch in this tray, go to this drain pipe, and also go out through your, basically your emergency line, dropping out over the window where you would be able to see it. Now to clean these inlet pipes, especially this section here, I'm going to actually pour some liquid into the bottom of the unit, of the air handler, and I'm actually going to pour a little bit of vinegar too to just loosen up any calcium or something that might be built up in there. I have to do that. I'm going to take off these four bolts off of my um, side of my air handler after I power everything down, and then I'll be able to pour some water right into this section here. So behind here I have two circuit breakers, which I flipped, and that'll turn off all the power to my unit. And then I'm going to take off these four screws. Here's my control board, those circuit breakers. This is the uh, fan on this one. It's a variable speed fan. These kind. This kind does not have a capacitor on it. They're very expensive, the digital ones. Back down in here, you can actually see the condensation dripping off the AC unit right now. Like it's supposed to, hits that tray, and it goes down to those two drains. Get it down there on the left side. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to pour some very, very hot water and then some vinegar so that I stir up that uh, cruddy stuff at the bottom there. See, it's got a bit of an orange tint. There is some tin in these units that will rust and it causes that to stain. And by pouring that down in there, I'm going to force it through that drain, which the shop vac is pulling on right now. And hopefully I'll pull through any crud that's there and take that down into the shop vac. Now we can see what we pulled out of that, those pipes. Looking at the nastiness in here. And yeah, we got a lot of rusty uh, crud out of there. Yeah, you can just see it's like flakes of, uh, of rust and just crud that's in the line. All right, well, we've got the uh, system running for over a day now with the AC cranked and haven't had any more moisture coming out of this uh, emergency drain pipe. Hey, if this video helped you uh, learn more about how to flush out the drain lines from your air conditioner, please give it a thumbs up and that'll help other people find the video as well. And have a great day.